friends, welcome back to my channel Migrate to Europe. Today let's explore interesting facts about obtaining work permit and work visa called Nulla Osta in Italy. The Italian work visa process stands out for its relatively simplicity compared to other countries. In my opinion, it's one of the easiest work visas to apply for. Once you secure your work visa allowing to travel to Italy, you must apply for the Permiso de Sigiorno, residence permit, within 8 days. In this video, I will walk you through the complete application process for the Italy work permit. About Italy. Italy is well known for its rich history, stunning art and delicious cuisine, making it an attractive destination for those seeking employment and the taste of a good lifestyle. Quota. The decree of the President of the Council of Ministers of 27 September 2023 on the planning of legal entry flows of foreign workers into Italy for the three-year period 2023-2025 was published in the Gazeta Ufficiale on 3rd October 2023. The decree established the new quotas for foreign workers who want to enter Italy to work. The decree, published on the official Gazeta, authorizes 452 entries over three years for seasonal and non-seasonal employment and self-employment of foreign nationals residing abroad. These overall quotas got distributed over the three-year period as follows. 136,000 units for the year 2023. 151,000 units for the year 2024. 165,000 units for the year 2025. Starting from February 29, 2024, it is possible to fill out application on the Ministry of the Interior's portal to hire non-EU workers from abroad and to convert residence permit within the framework of 151,000 quotas provided for the quota decree for the year 2024. The 151,000 quotas are to be allocated amongst the following categories. 89,050 quotas for seasonal work in the sector of agriculture, hospitality, tourism industry reserved to certain nationalities. 61,950 quotas, of which 61,250 for non-seasonal employment in the sector of road haulage for hire and reward, construction, tourism and hospitality, mechanics, telecommunications, food, shipbuilding, bus passenger transport, fishing, hairdressers, electricians and plumbers. Also, another quotas for work as an employee for self-employment, 700 quotas. Dedicated time frame for applications. The Italian government only accepts application for work permit during designed periods and quotas are defined for granting work permits to foreign workers. Italian employers can submit application for Decree Flusi 2024 from January 1st to March 31st, 2024. Non-EU citizens can submit applications from April 1st to May 31st, 2024. Nulla Osta. Nulla Osta basically checks if the person applying for the work visa meets all the requirements and qualifications needed for the job. It makes sure there are no legal or administrative issues that could stop them from working in the specific position. It shows that the country where they want to work has carefully looked at their qualifications, made sure they follow all the immigration rules and found their application acceptable. This document makes it easier to apply for the visa and confirms that hiring someone from another country follows all the rules of the country where they will be working. So it's really important for making international job opportunities run smooth. Application process. The process of getting a nulla osta begins when an employee is offered a job in Italy and after that work visa. Those are the necessary steps to obtain the work visa in Italy. Job offered. 
to start your process, first you need to secure job offer from employer in Italy. Employer applies for a work permit called Nulla Osta at the immigration office in their respective Italian province. Your future employer must submit an application for authorization to work at the one-stop shop for immigration in the prefectura where the job will be taken. Besides a work contract, foreign workers sign a resident contract contratto di sigiorno with their Italian employer. In this contract, the employer guarantees that the worker has suitable accommodation available and commits to paying for any travel expenses in case the worker is expelled from Italy. This document does not replace the work contract, but it's necessary for the issuing of the work permit. An authorization to work will be granted only if you come within the annual quota for the non-EU workers. Once the work permit is granted, the employer may ask the immigration office to send all the necessary documentation to the Italian embassy or consulate where the employee will apply for a work visa. The employee will download and complete the Italy visa application form, collect all necessary documents and submit the application in person at the Italian embassy or consulate. If the Italian authorities approve the application, the employee will have one month to pick up the visa and then enter Italy. An Italy work visa can be valid for up to two years depending on the employment contract, but it can be renewed for up to five years. Within eight days of entering Italy, the employee must apply for an additional permit to stay, referred to as permiso di sigiorno or residence permit, and the application can be obtained at a local post office in Italy. Types of Italian work permit. In Italy, two primary types of work permits known as subordinato stazionale cater to distinct employment scenarios. Italian work visa process offers two primary types of permits, the work permit subordinato and the work permit stagionale, each tailored to different employment scenarios. The work permit subordinato is designed for foreign nationals seeking employment within the Italian job market under an employer-employee relationship. It necessitates a job offer from an Italian employer who typically plays a central role in the application process. This permit is associated with a specific job and employer and is granted for a specific duration. On the other hand, the work permit stagionale or seasonal work permit caters to individuals intending to engage in temporary or seasonal employment in Italy. This permit is often sold in sectors such as agriculture, tourism or the other industries with seasonal demand fluctuation. It acknowledges the temporary nature of the work and it's usually valid for the duration of the seasonal employment period. Lavoro autonomo. Let's also remember about Nulla Osta for self-employed called Work Permit Lavoro Autonomo for self-employed. You must first be authorized by the competent administrative authority to perform the self-employed activity. 700 foreign citizens residing abroad are expected to enter in 2024 if they are entrepreneurs, freelancers, famous artists or startup creators. Which authority you apply to will depend on the nature of your activity. For example, the Chamber of Commerce issues authorization to companies, while a special authorization from the local Department of Health is needed to open a restaurant or bar. The one-stop shop for immigration and the provincial directorate of labor verify that you come within the quota and that you have all the necessary requirements to carry out your self-employed activity. Summary. Remember, securing an Italian work visa is an investment in your future. With careful planning through preparation and a dash of Italian passion, you can unlock the door to a rewarding experience in the heart of Europe. So whether you are seeking traditional employment or looking to start your own business, there is a path for you to work and thrive in Italy. 
Stay tuned as we explore each step of the process in detail. Let's make your Italian work dream a reality. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and hope to see you next time very soon.